I'm going to um, show you a, a different way to do this problem um, than the other video to see if maybe this clicks a little better with you. I've had a couple questions, so um, you can watch both of them and see which way uh, works the best for you. Um, but the idea is that we have a transformation of a graph and we're trying to figure out uh, the new equation for it, for this parabola. Um, so the first thing we want to concentrate on is uh, where the vertex is of this parabola. Um, so if you recall, any parabola can be written in this form. Okay, this is the standard form of the parabola. And that's where H and K represent the X and the Y value of the vertex. Okay, so in this case, we know that the vertex is right here at negative 1, negative 2. So I know that for this function up here, I can rewrite it like this. Um, it'll be X minus negative 1. Okay, x minus negative 1, so that turns to plus 1. So minus negative 1 is the same thing as plus 1. And the k here is negative 2, so that's plus negative 2. So I'm just going to write that as minus 2. Plus a negative is the same thing as subtracting. All right, so the only part that we have left is we need to figure out what the a value is right here. Um, so the h and the k, that's the transformation left and right respectively, and then the A is going to be the transformation that tells us like how wide or how skinny this parabola is. The bigger the A value, the skinnier the parabola is. This would be like a really big A value. And if it's a big negative number, like negative 4 or something like that, it'll be really skinny in the opposite direction. If it's a number that's really close to 0, like 0 0.5, then you'll end up with a really wide parabola. And again, if it's a negative number close to 0, you get a wide parabola. Uh, in the opposite direction. So this one, the fact that you know a normal parabola would be, go up to this point normally, right? Because it goes, you would go from like, uh, if you think of the parabola here, the normal x squared parabola is 0, 0, and the next point is 1, 1. So if you translated it, then that would put the point right here. Um, but since this actually goes up higher, that tells you this number is probably bigger than 1. Um, because it's a skinnier parabola. But you don't really have to know that in order to figure out the rest of this. So to figure out the A, what I'm going to do is pick another random point on the parabola that's nice. So for example, um, this would be a nice point, 1, 6. But actually, you know what? This looks like an even easier point to use because that point right there is 0, 0. And any time I can put in zeros, that's good news. I could also use this 1, 6. That would be OK. But 0, 0 is probably going to be easier to work with. So what I'm going to do is bring that over here, and I'm going to replace the y with 0, because that's the y value right here. And then I'm also going to replace the x with 0, because x is, is 0 is the x value also. And then I'm going to use this to solve for the a value. So I just have to do a little bit of arithmetic here. This will be 0 plus 1, which is 1. 1 squared is 1. And then 1 times a is just a. Subtract 2, add 2 to both sides, and now I get that a is equal to 2. So my final equation is going to look like this. y equals, or I guess g of x equals in this case, um, 2, since that's my a value, and then x plus 1 squared minus 2. And that's a perfectly good form to leave it in. You don't have to actually multiply it out. Um, we can just leave it in the standard form. Uh, just to show you that I could have also used this point to find the a, let me just show you how I would have done that, just because it's kind of, these are both zeros, so you might not be sure exactly what I'm doing. In this case, the y would be 6. So if I go back to this step right here, I would do y is equal to 6, and that's equal to a times x is equal to 1. So 1 plus 1 squared minus 2. And I should still come out with a equals 2. So it doesn't matter which point you pick. You should come out with the same thing. So let's see. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 
4 times a is going to be 4a. Okay, add 2 to both sides, I'll get 8 on the left. And then you can see divide by 4 on both sides, and I'm going to get that a is 2 again. So it doesn't matter which point you pick, as long as you pick a nice point that's on the graph, that's going to get you this a value. Um, so just a quick recap, you get the h value by looking at the x value of the vertex. So right here. You get the k value by looking at the y value of the vertex. And then the tricky one is getting the a value. To get the a value, you have to pick one other nice point on the graph and substitute those values in for y and x and then solve for a. And then that'll give you your a value right here. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. If you still have questions, um, let me know, and I'm happy to help.